The primary purpose of a standing examination is to detect a symmetry. Standing examination allow us to palpate the structures on the left side and the right side at the same time. While your assistant holding the dog's leash and help the dog stand, you can perform the standing examination on the animal's side or right over the dog's back. Start from head and face. Check the dog's face to detect facial asymmetry. Check the pupil size. Move the neck gently to check for physiological nystagmus. Palpate the temporal muscle to detect asymmetry and obvious muscle atrophy. Palpate the mandibular lymph node to detect lymph node enlargement. Check the neck range of motion and side-to-side -side flexion, extension, ventral flexion. Pain or reluctant to move the neck may indicate cervical disease. Feel the left and right thoracic muscle at the same time. Palpate the biceps muscle and the triceps muscle belly. Run your hand down to feel the medial humeral epicondyle with your thumb and the lateral humeral epicondyle with your index. Once the anatomic structures are identified, slide your finger caudally and slightly distally to palpate the space between the humerus and ulnar olecranon. In a normal dog, the space between the humerus epicondyle and ulnar olecranon should be a concave depression, and you should be able to feel the sharp bony demarcation of the humeral condyle. With effusion, this area can become distended. With chronic elbow disease, the joint capsule becomes hypertrophied and thickened. Run your finger down the empty brachian. Palpate the flexor and extensor muscle to detect for any muscle atrophy or any masses. Feel the carpal joint for obvious joint swelling. Finish your palpation of thoracic limb by checking the conscious proprioception. Run your hand along the trunk of the animal to feel for any abnormal masses or swelling. Observe the hair coat and check for possible fleet dermatitis. Evaluate the paraspinal muscle to evaluate for any muscle atrophy. Check the pelvic limb by standing caudal to the animal. In a dog that loves to sit, you can place your knee under the pubis to support the pelvic limb. Palpate the iliac wing greater trochanter, and ischiatic tuberosity. In a normal dog, the relative location of the three points should form a triangle that slightly slope down. In a dog with dorsal luxation, the triangle will feel flat, or even sloped up. This is due to dorsal deviation of the greater trochanter. Palpate the quadriceps and the semimembranous muscle. Run your hand distally along the quadriceps muscle group. You should be able to feel the patella. The patella ligament connects the patella to the tibial crest. Lateral to the patella ligament, you should be able to feel the stifle joint space. In a normal standing dog, you should be able to feel the concave depression of this space. In dogs with joint infusion, the space would become more convex. Put your hand around the stifle joint. In dogs with cranial cruciate ligament disease, you may feel swelling on the medial aspect of the stifle joint. This is called the medial buttress and is a result of chronic inflammation. Run your hands down the tibia. Feel the medial malleolus of the tibia and lateral malleolus of the fibula. Move your hands caudally you should be able to feel the space between the malleoli and the calcaneus. In the normal joint, this area should be concave depression. Finally, test for the hyaline's proprioception.